Hi everyone, so welcome to today's video. Today is going to be a get ready with me style video. We're going to use a few of my favorite products. I'm going to pull myself together for the day. We're going to keep it simple, keep it easy, use products that I know work, that I love, formulas that are just easy to use, easy to incorporate and mix together. Keep it simple. I'm not going to get caught up with a bunch of new stuff, new launches, new this, new that, that keeps getting thrown at us. Everywhere we turn, there's new stuff coming at us. I want to just focus on keeping it simple, polished, and just kind of doing a full face of makeup without it being too heavy and too overly complicated. So if that sounds good, then just keep watching, get all your makeup goodies, and let's get started. I'm going to mix two primers, my Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Primer with my Cali Ray So Blown Primer. So I'm going for about the same amount from each. I'm gonna mix the two together in my hands with my fingers, and I'm just gonna go straight in and apply this all over. And I do have my brows partially done already as well. I filled them in with my Lawless Soft Fill Brow Pencil in the shade called Teddy Bear. I've been really loving that and using it a lot lately because I am out of my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. So I started building my Sephora cart uh, to place a an order. And that's one of the products that I have in my cart. So now for foundation, again, I'm going to keep it simple, keep it classic. I'm going to go in with my Double Wear from Estee Lauder. And I do my little dots, a couple dots on the cheek area, a couple around the chin, like so, and just kind of spread that out. And I don't have a pump on mine, so what I do is I just put my finger on it and just tip it over, and the amount that I get is sufficient for the day. I wear shade 1 and 0 porcelain in Double Wear, and I'm going to use my BK Beauty 101 brush, and I'm just going to push this into the skin right over the primer. This is such a classic foundation, you guys. It has been an Allure Best of Beauty winner year after year. It's just such a good formula. It's long wearing, but it's not drying. It's not heavy looking. It makes the skin look so pretty. And it wears incredibly well throughout the day. And I fell in love with this foundation last summer and I have not put it down since. I'm gonna further blend, as I always do, with my Damp Beauty sponge. So I recently did a video where I used the Hydro Grip Primer from Milk Makeup, and it broke me out, like little bumps here, little tiny red breakouts here on my cheek area, and it just did not mesh very well with my skin, and I am kind of on the mend, I feel, I hope, uh, with the breakouts. I'm gonna do a little bit more, just a little bit more of the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Now I'll push that in with my sponge. For concealer, I pulled two out of my drawer that I love. If you've watched my videos, you just know that the High Glam from Natasha Denona is my favorite. It won in the Best of Beauty for concealers for last year. I love this concealer. I wear the shade P1, which is a peach shade. So I'm going to take some of this. And go under the eye, and then I'm going to mix it with the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin. Concealer, I wear the shade number 140. Also another good concealer, this is a more full coverage concealer. So I'm gonna just do a couple dots. And then I'm gonna go in and blend everything in with my beauty sponge. Setting my under eye area with the Pat McGrath Sublime Under Eye Powder in the light shade with a Real Techniques setting brush. Adding a little bit of color in with my Give Beauty Bronzer Duo. This is in the shade called Heatin' Up. Love this formula so much. You get a cream and then a powder. I'm using the powder today. And I'm blending that in with a BK Beauty 111 brush. For today's blush, I'm going to use my Patrick Ta blush. This is in the shade called She's Blushing. I'm going to go in with the powder. So you get a cream and a powder. The technique behind his formula is that you use the powder first and then you go with the cream on top. But I'm just going to do the powder today. And it's a really pretty, like everyday type of shade. And I do like it. I'm using a BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy A507 brush, which is angled and perfect for blush. They're very pigmented and he has a ton of different shades. He just came out with a few new ones as well that look really pretty. But this one is just nice. I feel like this is the one that I feel like is the most wearable for me personally out of his entire collection. 
And then of course I have to do highlighter and I have loved so, so much my Give Beauty highlighter. This is the Check My Glow in Platinum Cowgirl. I gotta use it. It's just really good. It's just so beautiful. Has those little squares. I just kind of swirl my brush into all the colors. Tap off my excess and I just kind of buff this into the skin. And it leaves the prettiest glow to the skin. Do you see that? The skin is glowing. It looks beautiful. I love this. I just love this color, this formula. It's everything. Off camera, I went ahead and finished my brows and used my MAC Painterly Paint Pot as my primer. I always do that, even if I'm only gonna do a one shadow look, which is kind of the idea that I had in mind today. And I wanted to use a liquid eyeshadow. I was going between my Lisa Eldridge liquid eyeshadow or this one from Armani, but I ultimately landed on the Armani one. This is in the shade number nine. It's the eye tints, and I just love how pretty this color is. It's perfect for the one and done kind of look. I did a video about all of my favorite one and done eyeshadows. I did some swatches and I gave some tips and some ideas to keep in mind when looking for colors to use for one and done type of looks. That one shadow look, that is my thing. I love it on the weekends, vacations, anytime that I'm in a rush but I wanna do my makeup, I always land on the one shadow look because it just doesn't get any easier. So. If you haven't seen that video, the cards above on the top of the screen will take you to that video. I did it a couple months ago and I feel like I gave some really great tips. So check it out if you're interested in some suggestions, some ideas. I'm gonna go in with the Armani today and I'm gonna use a brush to apply it. You could go in directly with the applicator. It's a kind of triangular pointed tip sponge with a bit of a hole in the center. So that's where some product gathers. And it's easy, it, the point allows you to get right into the inner corner and swipe across the lid. But I'd like to work off of a makeup palette, the back of my hand, off of a compact or something flat because I, for hygienic reason, don't go straight into it with the applicator. So I'm going to work off of a palette and I'm going to use my A501 brush, which is just an eyeshadow brush from BK Beauty and Angie Hot and Flashy. And I'm going to start just sweeping this right over my lids. And hopefully the camera can show you the difference between here. There's a little bit of something. There's a bit of sheen. It's a little bit more scaled back because of the brush, but if you use your finger, it's going to be more amplified. Use the applicator, more intense, more product is going to be applied. So I like to start off with thin layers and just build it up as I go based off of my preference and what I'm feeling for the day. I will be switching brushes for my lower lash line. This is a BK Beauty 210. It's a very tiny little brush. And it's perfect for getting a little bit of color and shadow right under here. And I'm gonna just basically go all the way from inner corner to outer corner. Shadow. So now we just do a little bit of liner and some mascara to tie it all together. I'm doing some tight lining with a dark brown eyeliner. This is the Sephora Collection 12 Hour Pencil Liner. The shade is called Tiramisu and this is a nice, rich, dark brown. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of liquid liner. I gotta use my NYX Epic Ink. I told you we're keeping it easy, using products that are no fuss. This liner is in the shade brown, and it's also waterproof. I'm gonna just do a thin line right at the base of my lashes. Mascara is my L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. I have loved this so much for a lot of length, a lot of drama to the lashes. It makes the lashes thicker. And it's a very intense looking lash effect. So I do love this. And I think Two Coats is the sweet spot with this mascara. And it has gotten better as it's been sitting in my drawer. And it's really, really good. One of my favorites from the drugstore. And do you see that's one coat of this mascara. And when I do my second coat, it will give me a little bit more drama. But here's my lashes with nothing on them. And then here's one coat of the mascara. It's incredible the difference that this does for my lashes. And I just love this mascara. I will definitely be buying another one. The next time I go to Target, which is probably this weekend, I will be getting myself another two for a backup. Here's two coats and one coat. Can you see a difference? I can, I see a little bit more thickness happening here, 
but I think two coats is a sweet spot because otherwise it can start to look a little bit more like a spider lash with a third coat. If you put more than three coats on, it's it can get messy, but I do like how it sort of fans everything out and it does add some thickness to the lashes. Moving on to lips, this video would not be complete if I did not use one of my favorite lip liners. Keeping it easy and a go-to that I know always works and never lets me down, it's the NYX lip liners. I love them, they're so affordable. I love the Peekaboo Neutral, which is what I'm gonna use today, but I also really like the Nude Pink. They make some really great liners, lots of different choices in colors, and I'm going to line and fill with this pencil. So some of my favorite things about this sort of one shadow look is that I can do any lip color. So I have that liner on, and if I wanted to do something a little bit more bold and deeper and darker, I could do that. If I wanted to go with something more bright, pink, poppy type shades, corals, I could do that too. I can keep it simple and just do lip balm and a gloss, but having a color that gives you a little bit of tint on the eyes that isn't too warm or too cool, it's kind of like a neutral type of shade, can really open the door for a lot of different lip combos and you can really take this in any direction. You so now that I have my liner on, lined and filled and ready to go, I'm going to use a tinted lip balm. Again, keeping it simple. I love the Naturium lip balms. My favorite one is the Hibiscus, which is the sheer hot pink. It's beautiful, I wear that all the time to prep my lips or to add some color and gloss to a lipstick. The shine on those is incredible. I have talked about these so much. These are $10 and these I think are the best dupes to the Summer Friday lip balms. I love Summer Friday lip balms. I've purchased many of those and I just love them to pieces, but this is equally as good and it's 10 bucks. Summer Fridays is I think $24. So I have a few that I pulled from my drawer. The petal shade is more of a classic kind of everyday pink shade. Goji is a nice kind of poppy coral type of color. And the Camellia is a nice light pink shade, but these have a sheer tint. So you can do this product over a lip liner and have a full lip look. So let me show you something a little bit bright and fun for the day. This is the Goji shade, which the tube looks like a nice kind of poppy, corally type shade. But I'm gonna go right over that Peekaboo Neutral Lip Liner. And there is a little bit of color that you get from these. But the shine is out of this world and the feel on the lips, it's amazing. I love them. And so here is the look, you guys. What do you think? I really love this look. I am such a fan of the one and done one shadow looks. It's my thing, I love it. So I'm always thrilled when I get to do those looks because that means that I'm able to do my makeup pretty quickly. And everything is done, there's foundation. We did the blush, bronzer, highlight, we did eyes, liner, liquid liner, mascara, a full lip look. And it didn't take a lot of product, it didn't take a lot of time, and it's just easy. And I just love doing looks like this because I can just get my makeup done and move on to the next thing. If I've got things to do, errands to run, head out the door, I can get to those things much faster. Having a look or routine that kind of just streamlines everything and it makes it just so simple. And I really love the way the complexion looks fresh, it's youthful, it's kind of a little bit more perfected than my bare skin, but it's not full, full coverage. There's some glow from that highlighter, the pop of like a natural flush with the blush. This lip color though, this kind of corally type shade that's a little bit kind of like a poppy red with a little tinge of coral, just livens up the complexion and brings so much life to the skin. And I wish I would try more colors like this and kind of get out of my comfort zone more often because I think that it did something for my complexion. I just feel like everything is just a little bit brighter, right? What do you think? Let me know. Definitely check out those lip balms from Naturium. I adore them. I use a lot of their skincare products and I do enjoy the brand and everything I've tried so far. So I will list and link everything for you down below. I thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope you enjoyed the look. Share with me your favorites. What are your go-to products for quick and easy looks? And I hope to see you in my next video. Subscribe for more videos like this in the future. You can also follow me on Instagram. It's always here on the screen. We can be friends there and chat. I hope to connect with you there. Take care. We'll talk very soon. Bye-bye.